Okay, so, hi guys, this is Miss Lollipop, and welcome back to The Sims 3 Simon Says Challenge. So, we are obviously picking up from where we left up, and Tyson is just waking up, and whilst I get him uh, ready for the day, um, and get him ready for work, which he has in a few hours here, uh, about three hours, till this carpool arrives, I need to explain a few things to you. Now, if anything looks different around the game, as for example, if there are a picture is reset or something like that, or as you can see, Jamie looks different, which obviously I haven't got to explaining yet, it is because um, in the last part, if you remember, uh, maybe you do, maybe you don't. I mean, I have a memory of a goldfish, so I probably will remember. But um, yeah, uh, basically... Jamie ended well sorry not Jamie um ignore the call okay so let me okay it's way too loud here okay so the situation was is my sims 3 was crashing right so I explained to you guys that it was really hard to record because every uh five minutes the sims 3 would just shut down on me without any warning and there was nothing I could do to stop it I said that I sorted it out by removing my mods folder and replacing it and that worked temporarily I tried it again when it started crashing and it didn't work because I tried to record another part of this or I tried to record this part yesterday but it didn't work. So, um, I ended up doing a factory reset on my computer yesterday which I, um, a factory reset on my Sims 3, sorry, not my computer. And basically um, what you do in a factory reset is you rename your Sims 3, uh, you know like in when you go to your documents and then electronic arts and then the Sims 3 folder. I basically renamed that to a different name and then started up my Sims 3, Sims 3 launcher and it um, opened up a new a new Sims file which will it, like which the game will be saved to um, and that's kind of how you do a like a factory reset on the Sims 3. Uh, basically, you create new files for the Sims 3 to run off of. Well, I done that. Uh, it, it what I what the the tutorial that I was following to do that. It ended up uh, not telling me until, like, right at the very end. Naomi, I should have just gone down and read, you know, the warnings about it. But, of course, why would I do that? I'm I'm too smart for that, aren't I? Yes, of course I am. So, <laughs> that's sarcasm, by the way. Um, <laughs> uh, so, yeah, basically, um, I ended up losing all of my custom content that is connected up through my launcher. Obviously, I could save my mods, and I saved all my save files, so I've got, you know, all my saves. Um, I had to reinstall all my worlds, and that ended up happening, which wasn't too fun to go through and try to find all of the custom content that I had, and the custom content that I did actually use, but I ended up going back, and I couldn't find the exact, or I did, I didn't know where I got Jamie's hair from, but I had two styles of Jamie's hair, and the one that I put, the other one that I have on her, um, it looked kind of weird with her, and I don't know why, you know, so I ended up just changing it to this um it's like a plait around the sides and it's kind of like curly or crinkly and I just want to try it out a little bit and you know I mean she she's getting older I mean she's not exactly getting older she's got 21 days left but I mean you know she's she's getting ready I mean she's having a baby so you know I think that she feels the need to have a new look you know for this for this experience for her so I decided to give her a new hair, and you guys know me, I always change my mind, I go from one thing to the next, so the hair probably won't stay there for, you know, ages, but um, yeah, for the moment, I'm happy with the hair, if you guys are not and you hate it that much, then let me know in the comments below so I can change it for you, because obviously if you're not into that, then um, you know, this is obviously a LP, which means that you play it with me, but yeah, enough waffling let's get on with the game pay the play so jamie has just got this request uh that says she would like to marry tyson that's so cute so i'm gonna go ahead and swap out have a drink for marry tyson which is worth 500 lifetime happiness um so what are we at now we're at twenty thousand, which is good so for the moment she is reading something else but i want to have jamie go to the library go to the library and go and we're gonna get her um a pregnancy book and have her read it there and i'm pretty sure they do pregnancy books 
at this library, but we'll um we'll take a peek. So I'm just gonna scroll through. Oh, they actually do. Okay, good. So we're gonna read Totally Preggers and Expecting Mother's Tale, and that will get our wish for um, a pregnancy book. And then I'm gonna have Tyson come over to the library once he's finished at work and also read one. Um, then that way we'll have a more likely chance of picking the traits for the baby, which obviously I would like to do. And it'd be great if everything could load up. But um, yeah, so my computer is just also uh, restarted. And it's, uh, I always find that it takes a little while for my sims to warm up, you might say. So if it's going to run a bit weird in this episode, then I wouldn't be surprised because I literally just opened it up. So if you see it. And oh, hmm. look, she's got her baby belly going on. She's got, she's walking like that. Oh, she's so cute. I love her. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and accept some of the gifts that we got on the um, on the uh, the Sims 3 thing. I don't remember what you call it, but uh, yes. So I'm gonna open three of these um here. So Wired Dizzy Girl has sent us an elixir. So thank you very much. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and send one back to you here and I'll give you a surprise, yes, surprise gift box. There we go. And Crow, okay, I'm sorry if I like totally butcher your name, I'm sorry. Crow0801, um, i go ahead and accept that request. Thank you very much for the fern that you gave us and I'm going to go ahead and send one back as well. Um... Uh, I'll give you a surprise gift box. I always like those ones. And Rebecca N. Harry. Rebecca N. Harry, maybe? I don't know. Rebecca N. Harry. Um, thank you for 200 civilians. It's very much appreciated. And I'll go ahead and send that one back. So thank you guys for your gifts. It's very much appreciated. If you would like to send me a gift of which I do open on screen. So, you know, you get your name from The Sims out there. And also... Um, yeah, if you guys would like to send me a gift, I use them in my uh, in my Sims 3 Let's Plays and they're, they're always appreciated because obviously I need uh, to move up in the world on Sims, you know, at least here. So, yes, I don't know what I'm saying anymore. <laughs> so we actually got that Oval Cut Smith tonight. So I'm going to go ahead and sell that for 58 simoleons as well. Um, hmm. Oh, no, 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 why are you reading? Ah, oh, I realised that I actually, I've already, I've already got the books. Okay, we'll just, well, since we're here, we might as well read them. Um, and then I'll sell the stuff that we got, uh, that we got earlier when we get back, uh, you know, as gifts, because obviously we do need the money. Um, so Tyson is still at work and he's meeting his accomplices. And yeah, that's all fun. So we'll put this on speed three whilst this is happening and Jamie's sorting herself out and she actually wants to hang some holiday lights so I'm gonna go ahead and you know slap that in now and then um okay so I'm gonna have her go to the hospital which is here and go get some medical advice for 200 simoleons um and you know get prepared for this baby and obviously that is the more likely chance that we get to choose the traits of the baby as well so we'll go ahead and put this on speed three. There we go. So she's finished the book. And now we're going to go ahead to the hospital. And she actually wants to have the father read a pregnancy book as well. Which obviously we're going to do here. So put this on speed two. And oh my gosh. I actually cannot wait for this baby. Like I'm so excited. I mean I should have been recording the Sims 3 100 baby challenge right now. But I was just so, so excited to record this. I was just like, you know what, I'm going to go with my heart, record, record Simon Says Challenge, but yeah, I'm so excited, oh my gosh, <laughs> I've never actually been this excited for a baby before, <laughs> so you go ahead and head in there, and then we'll uh, start making our way home, I suppose, there's not really much to do whilst we're here, um, hmm, well, we could, I suppose we could go out, maybe, you know, get, get out the house, um, so I'll have her go, is there like a coffee house or something? Uh, I feel like we've been there before. There's a resort there. Um, stables. Uh, no, no thank you. No. Okay, I'll tell you what, 
we are going to head to the deliciously indulgent bakery and go and buy ourselves a few cakes and you know treats for us to have um, and you know just really really indulge in ourselves why not so person speed through until she gets out because it's just taking too long so there we go now she is fit and ready for her pregnancy or at least she is we still need to have Tyson read that book when he gets home from work so I'm just gonna move over one of the books um, so totally preggers over to Tyson so he can read that when he gets home but sounds be too and Tyson has also met my uh, my was at work today as well which is good so um speed through please okay we're here okay why is it not loading I would love to see the inside Personally, I would love. Thank you very much. Okay, so is there anything on the shelves? Anything at all? Oh wait, I actually haven't. I haven't set the sales clerk. I haven't actually set up this place yet. So we'll do this whilst we're you know here. So set hours for lot eight till six. Um, yeah, eight till six is a good time. Uh, so we've got about three hours. Um, so let's go ahead and um, go and purchase some stuff here. You you can get to there or browse, I suppose. Okay, what is wrong? Fine, go here. Browse. We'll set. Oops. No, don't go tent. Okay. Go here. And go browse. Okay, so congratulations, Tyson's impressive performance has earned him a promotion to Thug as well as a bonus of 576 simoleons. Tyson makes 32 simoleons per hour and works from 9 till 3. Awesome, awesome sources. So, uh, when he arrives home and he's sloppy jalopy, um, I'm gonna go have him just, you know, read this book here. And, um, whoops, no, 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 no. You don't want to go over there yet okay so let's purchase some items mm -hmm. usually there's things in here I don't know why there isn't um why okay usually it's not like this it's usually like the whole place is full up I don't know, maybe maybe we have to wait a day or something. I have no idea what's going on with this place. I will. I suppose that's our cue to leave then. That was a big foul, but I will. We'll live, won't we? So, um let's head over to In fact, you know what, let's head home. Um it's like half five. We don't really need to be out right now. And I think, Tyson, why are you reading the book outside? Go inside, honey. Come on. Don't be a weirdo. Go inside. There we go. Yeah, okay. Now you can read your book. And another thing I would also like to make mention of is... Um, that made loads of sense make mention. <laughs> uh, basically, I'm going to be uh, starting up a contest uh, for this challenge... And I'm going to give you guys the chance to be able to build the house that we will move into next for this challenge. Um, I'm going to, you know, set all the rules um, and all that fun stuff. Um, and obviously I'll make a video and explain to you guys what's going to happen. But, uh, yeah, be prepared for a video on that. And, yeah, I think that'll be pretty fun to engage with you guys some more. But, anyways, um... Jamie needs to go use the toilet and clean that. Hop in the shower and then clean it. Um, and then go grab... S in fact, let's go serve up some mac and cheese for dinner tonight as well. And then she did actually want to put up the holiday lights. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Hanging, what do you call it? There we go. 
Puts on speed three, what if she does this? And Tyson should be finished with that baby book any time here. Any time. Why is the carpool coming? Okay, it lies. Oh, oh, so Tyson now works on nights. I didn't actually, you know, read what it was happening. I just read it out loud. But you know when you don't really, it doesn't really sink in what you were saying. But yeah, he does actually do nights now. Which I suppose is a good thing, but I don't know. Anyways, he's going to go do um, an extreme workout and not break a sweat as well. Um, and try to get that athletic skill up for his job performance. Um, and then he can come and grab some autumn salad once, uh, once Jamie's finished making it here. And I don't know when she should be having a baby. Um, I'm pretty sure she got pregnant in the last part, which was like last night or something. But she looks pretty damn big. Like, she is looking large so i don't know i don't know when she's supposed to be having a baby yet i'm gonna say tomorrow i'm gonna go for tomorrow that she's gonna have the baby but you know i'm usually always wrong so anyways tyson's gonna come and grab some food uh he barely even worked out for like <laughs> five minutes so well and then we're gonna have a nice family dinner together there we go and I'm thinking I actually want to get um, a cat. I don't know. I just love the I I like I love pets personally. I think I just want a cat. Let's see, I don't know, just a cat. Mm. <laughs> I don't usually have cats on The Sims, but when I do, uh, I don't know. I find I find ah, them a lot of fun, you know. But anyways, go clean up the uh, dishes in the room, and you would like to kiss Tyson and watch the stars with Tyson. So I'm sure we can do that. You want to give Jamie a hug and also buy a bone Hilda coffin, which no, shall not be happening because we have no moolah for that. You can go and put that away as leftovers and Jamie's going to clean up that plate. There we go. Okay, so what did you want to do? You wanted to kiss Tyson. So romantic kiss. There we go. Ah, sa, kawati. So. Okay, so now that you've kissed him, uh, you would like to marry Jamie. Oh, you're so cute. Uh, you want to give Jamie a hug, and you also want to watch the stars, which you can watch the snow if you want. Uh, why not? So, romantic. Uh, ask to watch the stars. Can you even see the stars when, like, when it's winter? Hmm. Okay, maybe I'm just being an idiot, but I cannot turn my camera up. No. Can I look up? No, that's as far as I can look up. Isn't that lovely? Wow, it's a lovely tree. Gosh. Okay, let's head outside. Come on, let's go watch the stars so I can get this achievement finished and then I get some more lifetime happiness. So we're closer to that inheritance, which I'm so excited for. I seriously want that inheritance. Hmm. Aww. Oh. <laughs> you guys are so cute. I love them. Oh my gosh, they're just so adorable. But, um, of course, Jamie's getting scared because she's afraid of the dark. <laughs> So they're gonna get up and um, go head to bed because um, Jamie does not have work tomorrow. So actually they get to spend the day t together um, tomorrow as well, which will be fun. So they're just gonna go and head to bed, go in extreme sleep, but they've both got the great, uh, really nice moodlet. Saying romance under the stars, spending time looking at the night sky with a loved one makes your sim happy. Ah, these guys are just too cute. There's something about this couple that I just love. I don't know what it is. You know, you know when there's just something. Maybe you don't. Maybe you do. But there, there's something with them. I think there's chemistry. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so they're both gonna go get themselves settled in bed, and I am going to skip until um the guys wake up, and I will see you okay, guys. Okay. So then. good morning, guys. Uh, we are just going to get up, and yes, they are both going to get up at the same time. Which is nice. So Jamie does not have work in an hour, you lie. Um, Tyson's going to go get himself ready, go use the toilet. 
um, take an extreme shower. Um, Jamie's going to do the same, but downstairs, and uh, then go jump in the shower. And then she's going to go and grab some waffles as leftovers, and Tyson is going to do the same. And today we are going to um, go and get a lot of these wishes of which they want done. Um, just because I like fulfilling these, you know, it gives us the reward of the lifetime happiness points. And uh, yeah, I just like doing what my sims want to do. You know, let the game run its course and all that jazz. So yeah, I have a feeling we're going to have a lot of fun today. Um, Tyson needs to head downstairs to grab his food. So Tyson wants to get a tattoo, work out until he's fatigued, marry Jamie, and learn a logic skill and also make a snow angel. So obviously there is one that we cannot do today, which is marry, Ty uh, marry Jamie, because obviously we you know, can't get married that fast. Um, that's not going to happen. But we can fill the rest around it. So, you know, reach level 6 of the athletic, uh, athletic skill, which maybe we could do. Also, skate on a pond. Uh, I don't know if we can do because we're pregnant. But we could go get a massage, which is um, what Jamie wants as well. So, that will be pretty fun. So, first of all, to start off, I'm going to go and have, um, have Tyson listen to a... Uh, logic tab cast and then go work out while he's doing it as well which will be fun uh, and that will get him nice and fatigued hopefully uh, two o'clock he'll be t fatigued um Jamie would like to prepare some waffles so I'm gonna go ahead and swap go ice skating out because we cannot do that I don't think and she's gonna go prepare some waffles and um, just because that is what she wants to do and then we'll you know put some more away as leftovers um, for the future days to come as well um, Tyson's listening to that tabcast and his level will improve in two hours as well and I'm pretty sure he can listen to it whilst he's working out yes he can nice so he can do that and also gain his athletic skill which is a doubly bonus so put some speed through and we're making good time you know it's it's 11 o'clock or half 10 I suppose yeah so we have prepared those waffles and we can go ahead and put those away as leftovers and then answer our phone. Jamie has also um, has also done that logic skill and he would like to get pumped. Um, no, thank you. He would like to get pumped, so maybe that will happen. I don't know. Um, so we are going to take Jamie out again and go have her get... Um, no. Go have her go to the day spa and uh hmm why doesn't she go get uh, a deep tissue massage we'll pay for a nice expensive one this time because i have a feeling her baby's going to be coming soon and i would like to be nice and ready for this so she's gonna go use the stairs and be all awkward as usual and then we're going to go day spa visit the day spa is she going to do that no she's not so, go here. There we go. And now she'll do it as well. So, um, you are going to go into three o'clock. It's good to know. Okay, so he is now pumped, which is good. And he would also like to make a snow angel. So once he has finished doing that, he can go outside and make a snow angel. You know, let them do what they want. So let's go get this massage. Uh... That's on speed three. Okay, so the day spa is here, I think. Is this the day spa? No, this is the day spa. Day spa. Get massage, deep tissue. Stop trying to make a... No, no snowmen for you. Put it down. Where's that music coming from? I like that song. Hello? Oh, it's downstairs. No, it's not downstairs. What the hell? What is this? I have no idea what that is. <laughs> I think that's the film career. It's casually in the basement. I think it's coming from here, actually. Where is this? This is the diner. And the grocery store. Hmm. Okay, well, we're going to let Jamie get on with that. And we're going to follow Tyson. Since she's in the rabbit hole. And I prefer to, you know, actually look at somebody. So, um... 
Tyson would also like to read a pregnancy book. So once he's got uh, fatigued, which will be just a second here. Um, he gets fatigued at 3 o'clock. So, got another two hours yet. And then Jamie's going to make her way home once she's finished with that massage as well. And we're going to start having her um, do a bit of a workout. Oh, gosh. Not now, Jamie. I wasn't even finished with you. You didn't even get your massage. Did I have to pay for that? Tyson, take Jamie to the hospital. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Pick up the pace. And just stand there. Your girlfriend's having a baby. Move it. Are you going to run the whole way? Oh, no, Tyson. Oh, he's so embarrassing. You're not going to make it in time if you run. Honestly, come on, Tyson. We actually got 390 simoleons for personal time off site, which was good. Come on. There he is. He ran the whole way here. That's his exercise for today. <laughs> that was his jog. Okay, let's go inside. Come on. Let's go. No, you're not going home. You're going to be here. Let's go here. Come on. What are you doing? Where are you going, Tyson? Sims, gosh. What is wrong with them? Okay. Ignore the phone call. Tyson, get in there. Oh, okay, fine. Don't go there. Just let her have the baby by herself. Anyways, congratulations on a new baby boy, a happy mother, and a smooth pregnancy makes for a happy baby. Since Jamie's pregnancy went so well, we'll be able to choose two traits for him to start life out with. What would I like to name him? So I'm going to go ahead and go pick a few names. And I will okay, be right so back. hi guys, I'm back. And I have chosen the name for our new baby boy. And I am going to call him Colby. Um, just because I really like that name, I don't know, Colby, it's a nice name. But, uh, yeah, gonna go ahead and accept that, and, um, okay, so, um, it didn't say, the challenge didn't say anything about randomizing the traits, did it? I don't remember, no, it didn't. So, we are going to make Colby, um, hmm, I'm gonna make him... Loves the heat and also, um, uh, absent minded. No, because I hate it when Sims forget what they're doing. Couch potato. No, that doesn't work. Okay, how about, um, somebody's moving something outside. Uh, virtuoso and, um, excitable. Okay, so here we come with baby Colby, and he's looking so cute, I love him so much. And that same phone's still going off. Ignore it. Uh, yes, we would do for that for money. But uh, yeah, so we have our baby boy, and that is what he looks like at the minute, but obviously you can't really tell because he's, you know, a baby. So, we're going to go ahead and head home and um, start decorating his bedroom. And get that all nice and sorted. And yes, all that fun stuff. So, let's go in here. And let's do a bit of decorating. And we'll do it on screen. Because why not, eh? Why not? So, uh, let me just go down to the bottom. Because it's taking its time here. Do, do, do. Okay, I'm sorry. This is just, you know, it's Sims. Um... Oh, I don't know. It's so hard. Come on. Okay, hold it right there. Let me turn down the music because, like, no. There. So, let's go for a themed, I think. Themed, maybe. I don't know. 
I decide. <laughs> um, okay, man, go down to the bottom. Okay, I don't even know what that is. Like, what is that? Um, I mean, he, what did we make him? We made him like music, so. <laughs> It smells if you like sports, so I don't think that really helps. And he's only a baby, so how does he like sports? Um, we could give him a little sailboat. That's pretty cute, I suppose. Eh? Yeah, you know, whatever. It works. Okay, so let's give him a, a cot here. So, we have lots of cuts to choose from. Um, let's go for this one here, the cocoon cut. And then I'm just going to obviously change the colour of it to match uh, the bedroom. So we'll put that in there. Wait for it to load, of course. And I'm going to take a sip of my drink here. Sure, that'll do. And then, let me click, please. Clicking would be great. There we go. And then we'll add that in there. And we'll just make that a little bit darker here. And then we'll change this to a blue. A nice light blue. There we go. And then we need to get him his necessities since he's a baby. So we're going to go for um, this here. We'll add that in. Uh, in fact, you know what, I'm going to move that over to the other side of the bedroom. And then that way we can, you know, give him a bath and all that fun stuff. So we'll go plop that in now. And then change that around like that. Um, and then we need to get him the posse chair, which is already pretty much coloured. So we won't change that. And I'll give that like a diagonal slant there. Um, and then obviously a, uh, a baby high chair which we'll give him in his room. Um, we'll put it here, actually. Maybe. Maybe we will. Okay, let me just... There. Grab it. And let me... Oh, I don't know. Oh, gosh, I hate decorating rooms. I'm so bad at them. <laughs> you stay there. You go here. Like, like that. Why can you not go back any further? You know what? Let me just move the objects on because I like things. Well, I like them. So, move objects on. Pop that in now. Like that. And then we'll obviously get this uh, bath thing, which we'll turn around. And we'll place that right there. The party will um, tuck away in this corner right here. I think he can still use it. I'll just budge that over a little bit. He can reach that. Um, and then we need to get him a few more bits. We'll get him a little uh, walker for when he ages up into a toddler, which he can then use. I'll put that in the corner there. So that stays out the way. I uh, will buy him a little toy. Uh, in fact, maybe he'll already get it bought for him, so I won't buy that yet. Uh, we'll buy him uh, one of these, which I'll go ahead and turn blue. And we'll put that um, right there. There we go. So he can come and use that when he wants. And also, we will buy him a little piano thingy. Like he said he wanted, or he didn't say he wanted, but, you know, he is Batuso, so that can work like that. And I think, I think they can reach everything that's in the corners, hopefully. So now we can go ahead and, you know, decorate it and all that fun stuff. So, um, let's get the baby monitor on here and we'll also put one downstairs so we can listen to if he's crying. He can let us know. Uh, we will give him a pirate ship. It's a pretty good idea, I suppose. And we'll turn that off. And then we'll put the pirate ship. Um, 
Can that go, you know, like further back or does that literally just take up the whole space? It takes up the whole space. Okay, no pirate ship. <laughs> what else? We never really wanted a pirate ship anyways. No. Um, we'll buy this thing. Why not? Uh, we'll buy this. No, we won't. Um, hmm. As you can tell, I'm like the worst decorator ever. I have no idea what I'm doing. I just stick a load of stuff. Uh, we'll give one of these. That matches the room way too much. That, no. We'll buy him a stump. There, yeah, that'll do. And then also a play space mobile. And we'll put that like, up above him so we can look at that when he wants to, I suppose. And then we'll just put that somewhere. Can that go behind the thing here? No? Okay, whatevs. That's it. Ta-da! This is a bedroom. Isn't it fun? Oh, actually, I want to get one of these. Pop that in like that. Okay, is there any lights in that bedroom? Yes, there is. Good. Oh, actually, I wanted to get a rug before I left. So, let's grab a rug. And there is reflective flooring. Okay, we don't want one of those. Um, no thank you. Uh, I don't usually like any of these. Um, no, uh, I tell you what, I'll get this pop that under like that and then I'll just change the colours of it here. So that is like that, that's like that and that is like okay this is harder than I thought I like that I like that I like that. A bit more blue. Okay. There. Yeah. Perfect. We are done. There. Yeah. Here is baby Colby's room. So now we are going to uh, arrive home here and you would like to get married. That will happen, obviously. Um, what do you want to do? Nothing. Okay. And you guys are here. So, uh, you need to obviously go and continue working out and don't break a sweat. Um, you have baby Colby. Uh, so, we're going to go ahead and snuggle him, play with him, and he doesn't really need anything. So, we'll just go ahead and put him in bed. Uh, you're trying to get in, so go use the stairs. Oh, he's stuck again. Come on, dude. Come on. Cross the road. And go back. And then use the stairs. There. Okay. So you would also like to get married. So why don't you actually come outside and make a snow angel and get that mood lot over and done with. Wow, that's, that's weird. And then... Go get married, we'll put that in there. Go change into your everyday, actually. And then go and work out and do the cardio workout and hopefully get fatigued. So we get that mood look as well. Um, you, no, I'm not going to read that. You are going to head downstairs and go and serve up some gib carbonara for the family. And baby Colby's just going to go sit in his bed. He's such... He's such a cutie, I love him. Look at him. Can we get a nice close up? Oops, didn't mean to do that. Oops. Oopsies. Oopsies. Whoops. 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 <laughs> Gosh, I'm the worst. Ah, he's so cute. So I wonder what he's gonna look like. I mean, it looks like he has brown eyes. And obviously he should have brown eyes because his dad has brown eyes and his mum has brown eyes. It's whether he gets the the darker or the lighter brown eyes. Because his dad has lighter. And his mum has darker brown eyes, we'll see. And whether, you know, he's a brunette or he's a blonde, we'll also see that. But uh, Tyson's cup will also arrive in an hour as well, so we need to get him fatigued. But that's not going to work. So he needs to go use the toilet 
and wait for Jamie to finish making his uh, food. Or maybe just go and grab some salad himself because she's going to take too long before he goes to work. Then you can put these away as leftovers. Put that away as leftovers. And then we need to go grab Colby and sort him out. So, um, change diaper, give bottle, play with, and snuggle. There we go. Put that away. And then we should be nice and done. And then put Colby in crib. Okay, the lighting in this room is really weird. Ah. That's where it needs to be. Um, and then once you're done with that, you can head back downstairs, go grab uh, some goopy carbonara, um, go use the toilet, and I suppose we can just go to bed. So go to sleep. And you need to do a side job. Why not? It gets us a bit of extra money as well. Which is um, obviously what we want as well. So what level are you guys at? So you're at level 4 and you are at level 3. Which is good. So um, you need to get to level 10 of that as well. There we go. And then we'll head downstairs. So, Colby should be aging up in three days as well. So, we'll get to see what he looks like as a toddler. Which will be very, very fun. I can't wait to see what he looks like. Um, okay, make sure you clean that plate up. Thank you very much. Um, actually, before we actually... actually, I keep saying actually. Before we go to bed, go clean up. Uh, go clean that sink. And then go to bed. There we go. And then we will see um, Tyson in the morning as well. He's gonna, probably going to be really tired as well. Because we haven't got him in the sleeping schedule for night jobs. But the box uh, has another harebrained scheme. And Tyson has serious reservations about it. In fact, Tyson doesn't really want to have a part in it. Should Tyson and the rest of the gang uh, beg off this task? This task. Yes. What does that say? Tyson is able to convince the boss to abandon his plan. Tyson's co-workers are relieved, but the boss isn't happy with you questioning his authority. So now we're not friends with him anymore. Uh, but I'd say that if Tyson had a gut instinct about it and it was bad, that we shouldn't have done it. So I'm glad with our decision. So in two more days, Snowflake Day will be upon us. Eat lots of food, throw a party, or decide on a venue to celebrate this joyous holiday among family and friends. Um, okay, so I am going to go ahead and end this episode off here. I really hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Remember to leave a like on the video if you did and also a comment because it is always appreciated. And yeah, remember to leave your um, suggestions uh, down below about, you know, uh, about Jamie's hair. Remember to leave just a bunch of suggestions on what you think this series should be doing or whatever. Maybe give baby name suggestions because obviously we have another two babies to go. Until we complete this, you know, until we accept this challenge. But, yeah. So, I love you and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye, guys.